Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year to you. I've recently become a proud new owner of an iPhone 12 Pro. This is going to be the first iPhone I've ever used and therefore I want to keep it pristine, especially since the resale value is so good on iPhones. I initially was going to get the official Apple leather case, but after doing some research on Reddit and uh, on Amazon, I uh, found that a lot of people were complaining about the phone actually slipping out of the case. I don't know if they're going to fix this, but I don't want to take that risk. So after a bit of research, I came across this Pitaka Easy Mag case. This is in the same price range as the Apple leather case. So I hope it's going to be good. I'm going to be filming the unboxing for you and I'll also show you what it looks like on my phone. Okay, so let's unbox this Pitaka Mag Easy case. It says it's genuine aramid fiber. I don't know what that is. And it's only 0.85 millimeter thinness. Also compatible with uh, wireless charging. I think it has magnets on the back of it. There's another model of this and I think it's called the Pitaka um, Thin Air or something. But it's kind of the same, the same model but even thinner than this. Cool. I like the packaging. This bit feels like um, quite a premium, premium little fold out box here with a cardboard bit on top. It's nice. Alternative Tech Life. I've never heard of this company before. Let's see what it looks like inside. It looks a magnetized box as well. It does feel nice. There's instructions for removing it. Quite bare bones inside. Some instructions actually. It's a thank you card. Um, this is just advertising the rest of their catalogue. Surprised there's no stickers or any kind of sealing to let you know that you're the first person opening it. Compatible with Pitaka magnetic mount. It's got a product code on the inside. A brand new here. Nice and simple. Little logo here. They also had another pattern I was quite interested in. I took ages flipping through both of them, trying to decide which pattern to get. They called the other pattern plain, but it's just basically black and gray checkered. A black and gray checkered pattern. Feels different. I mean, it doesn't feel like silicone. Almost feels like cardboard to me, but it's probably a lot harder to rip apart. I don't know what this is. This is probably just plastic. Um, looks very thin, as promised. Um, I mentioned they have another one, a similar model, that is supposed to be um, half as thin as this. So 0 0.5 millimeters instead of 0 0.85. But I mean, this already feels very, very thin. which I'm glad about because I really like to have cases that don't add too much bulk to my phones. Another thing I like about this case is that it still shows off the gold finish on the side. And you can, it doesn't have to have a clever button solution because you can still touch the buttons. I to be very careful so that I don't scratch my iPhone whilst I do this. I really like this gold finish on my phone. Okay, there you have it. The slight raised lip still comes over my screen protector. Yeah, can you see from there? There's a bit of a lip that comes just above my tempered glass screen protector. You can still see the gold, a uh, slight, uh, the gold uh, lining on the side slightly. It fits my screen protector fine. I've got the Spigen Easy Glass on this one. It clears the camera, so the camera 
lenses won't be touching the table and when it's flat. It doesn't roll around. Well, if you press this top corner, it does. It does roll around slightly. Um, it doesn't feel like it'll protect the phone very well, but I'm not gonna test it with a drop test. But yeah, still shows off the style of the gold phone and then uh, should stop it from getting scuffs. Adds a bit of grip. The finish is quite nice. Look at the corners here and the edges. It's not just straight and then across. There's kind of a diagonal angle to it. So it goes flat and then at an angle and then flat again. And that's all the way around. It's nice and neat. Almost looks like it doesn't even have a case on it, which I really like. I like that. All right, thank you for watching. Quality base here, the Eagle has landed.